Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well in today's video. As you guys can see, yet another player review. I promise. Tomorrow's video is not gonna be a player review because tomorrow we're gonna go back to FC Mobile for uh, a two video uh, drop. So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at yet another Copa America Make Your Mark Plus player. I know the title is gonna say Make Your Mark player, but we're gonna be looking at a Make Your Mark Plus. Pacho, I hope I didn't butcher his name because I usually end up butchering people's name and it's irritating. But yeah, William Pacho, he plays for Ecuador, he plays in Bundesliga, he plays for Frankfurt. Nice center back, 93 rated card. Now, I don't know how many of you guys have actually completed this. Now, if you have completed this, let me know in the comment section how actually is he good or not. Please let me know. But in today's video, we're going to complete this SBC. Look at the stats, all these things, play style and stuff. Put him in a game, see how he is in center back position because that is his preferred position. He doesn't have any alternate position. Three star skill move, four star weak foot, left foot preferred foot. That is done. Now let us go to these stats. He has 93 players. The main reason I'm doing this SBC player review is because of this 93 players. I don't care about anything else. I don't even care about the defense and all those things. 93 pace. I need some pacey, pacey center backs because usually the people we go up against in rivals and in champs are so have so such good attacking players. It's just so hard to maintain the defenses defensive shape at times. So a good defender but also somebody who can hold the defense down by going up and coming back is really nice he has a high defensive work rate and a low attacking work rate so he's gonna be at the back most probably like an anchor but looking at his stats he has 91 acceleration 95 sprint speed which is insane he has uh, 85 passing 83 uh, dribbling 92 defending and 91 physical decent stats he has 96 jumping he has only 85 heading accuracy so he's not going to be very good at heading but he has good short pass if you look at passing he has really good short pass and long pass uh curving we don't really care about but it is decent vision also is decent shooting obviously it's going to be awful and then dribbling dribbling stats reaction is good composure is good everything else is like on average i would say it's bang on average because it's decent 80 dribbling 86 ball control if you get the ball if you pass it out basically your work as a defender is done so his defending is good as well he has 97 stand tackle he has 96 slide tackle his interception is very low for a defender so that is one thing i'm concerned about we will test all these in game we'll see how it is and what it actually means but looking at his play style he has long ball pass he has okay this controller i am gonna break it uh, he has jockey and he has block plus intercept plus he has aerial plus okay that is weird because his accuracy is bad he has anticipate he has slight tackle and uh bruiser nice decent uh, he has rapid also okay i guess his sprint speed uh, his pace might have to do something with that I think for a defender, these are good. He pretty much he has literally every play style that can be given for a defender, and he has two play style pluses in defending as well. So I'm happy with this card on paper. I would say because see, you have to do one squad build for this. You have to do an 85 rated squad build with a team of the week or team of the season player in. Now, um, yeah, let me get this squad build done. We'll put him in the team and see how he actually is. Okay. Look at the squad. Simple squad, 84 rated players, and our 90 rated uh, Torch champion, ADME. Let us go. Complete the squad. Now, I'm not gonna build a separate squad uh, for this for this uh, video. I'm just gonna play him along with my highest rated squad that I have right now. So, we'll see how it goes. Okay, we are going to be playing this squad. Look at this squad. We are going to be playing this squad. I feel like the squad playing against the squad is going to help us, uh, you know, actually see how the player is at center back position. Okay, this is how the team is looking after adding Bacho. Uh, this is my main squad. I usually have uh, uh, Christian Sin as my right center back, but as of now, we're going to be using this substitute Prince. Probably might look better than my main squad. But it is what it is. I love this squad. I am actually happy with this squad. And I have not bought any players here. Uh, all our first one are, uh, are from SBC. So if it's an SBC card, you probably will find the card in uh, game. 
doing a player review for center back is a bit dodgy you know because usually i defend well with my midfield and look at that i can defend well with garnacho i can even defend well with the uh, hoselo as well so so i don't know how it's going to be but whenever i get the ball like when i have to defend i'll show you guys how it is pacho was able to actually get the head to the ball but he couldn't win it but we ended up getting the ball but I ended up scoring it outside okay let's just actually try out a short pass short pass is actually not bad you know it's like going it's very very accurate there's no power guys there's no power at my house right now but yeah actually his pace is really good his passing is actually really good like short pass the short pass is good how is this uh, long pass the long pass is also not bad you know you just have to test out his defending uh, how do i just okay we lost the ball oh my god my man just ran over the player oo wins the header passes the ball out pretty pretty normal for a defender i would say this is the problem whenever i do player reviews for defenders even cdms are a bit decent like because i can do passing i can i can take the ball with them try to score from outside the box and stuff but when it becomes defense right like center back especially it is so hard how do i how do i show you guys like it is weird okay okay stand tackle is not bad stand tackle is really good interception is woeful guys i don't know if you guys want to do this card you better save the 85 rated squad because interception is really really bad but stand tackle is good uh, heading winning the header while defending is also pretty decent but most of the time i end up winning the ball with guardiola look at this guardiola usually ends up uh, in the perfect positions and he ends up actually winning the ball pretty much all the time and i feel like pacho is just left in the dead space it doesn't do much you can use literally you can use pacho over here like he is really good at this place you know where i'm like circling right now that is the place he is good at because other than that he doesn't do much he's able to get the ball from the keeper you can pass you can distribute the ball out to your uh, midfield and uh, you know you can play at the back really well he is mostly like an alaba type of player if you want to look compare him to an in, in like uh, in real life player i would say it's like an alaba it's not like a rudiger it's more like an alaba player uh, he's not like a rudiger or an adam melata was more like a nacho it's more like an alaba type of player stays at the back make sure everybody in the front make sure uh, you know there's perfect to play comp uh, spaces in between the midfielders and the center back and all the stuff yeah i don't know i don't know if this card is something you guys want to do but yeah the player review is that set because i literally don't know what more to do you can't do shooting with him because it's woeful you can't cross with him because he's a center back you can't uh, dribble past many people because he's a center back all you have to do is just defend take the ball pass it around clear all that stuff uh, like i said heading is kind of woeful but he can win the headers when it's coming like from the goalie side opposition goalie side to your side uh passing is really good like the passing stats 97 and 98 are really good lob pass or um, those different passes you do with the controller everything is really good i think pace is also really good pace is also good but uh, stand tackle is good stand tackle is good slide tackle i usually don't do so i don't usually test it out interception is bad like i don't know if you have to kind of uh, put in a play style and play with them but i wouldn't suggest completing this um sbc because it's not that great it's not that great this is why i was not completing this sbc for so long but then i thought okay he has 93 pace maybe i have to try him and kind of make a video around him it'll be helpful for you guys also people especially who, you know started playing the game and kind of want a good center back But yeah, it is what it is. I'll see you guys in the next video. Tomorrow is gonna be FC Mobile. Day after tomorrow is gonna be FC Mobile. So we are taking a small break. 
from FC24 waiting for some good content to roll out and then we'll be back to FC24 I'll see you guys in the next one until then take care stay safe stay motivated and keep smiling guys bye bye